Today I'm going to share with you how to create a weekly planner in OneNote. How can you do it? Let's find out. By the way, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't miss out on future videos. So how can you create that beautiful weekly planner in OneNote? Let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into the app. And why do I choose this app for my weekly planner? Well, very simple. I can customize it, right? It's beautiful, it's simple. And secondly, it syncs very, very well and it looks great on your smartphone also. This is so important for me because I don't always, ha always have my laptop with me. I don't know about you, but that's the beauty of it. So let's jump right into it. What are the five steps? The first step that you gotta have for your weekly planner always, right, is your life categories. By the way, I'm not gonna go over every single detail how to plan out your week. Yeah, I made another video about that and, and many other videos in regards to daily planning and so on. You can check those out as well. I'm gonna show you how to create that planner quickly, efficiently, and you can follow along if you want. You can have your OneNote open right now. So first thing you wanna have, you wanna have our life categories ready. Yeah, so what you do over here, first of all, my recommendation is that you open a section called weekly. Yeah, that's the first one. And then this is the how to create thing right now. But you open basically a page and you wanna call it weekly or W template. Yeah, and just do it for now. I'm gonna explain later why we call it template. And then me personally, I like to keep it clean. So I'm gonna remove all the dates, data up here. You can keep it in there, it's all up to you. Yeah, that's your personal choice. And then what we want to create, we want to basically create a simple table here, right? Let's move this over and we want to create the name of our life categories in here first. All right. So whatever life categories you have. So for me, it could, for example, be right. I have my online coaching business. True. So I could call it that one. And I have my corporate training business. I have that one as well. That's one category, right? I have my YouTube channel here. That's another one. And then I have the area of money and finance in general, right? That's what I have as well. So I'm going to determine all of these areas first. And I recommend that you do the same. And then you customize it any way that you want. Yeah, my preferred font is very simple. It's Ariel. Sorry, nothing fancy. If you expected something fancier, I'm sorry to disappoint. Okay. <laughs> so that's the first thing that we want. And then what I like to do, I just like to use the bullet point option here where I can plan out my actions and results that I want for the week. You can also have the checklist here, which a lot of people like as well. Yeah, because they can in the end check it off, whatever action they have. So you can do that as well. For me personally, I'm a little bit of a simpler guy. Yeah, I just like to take the bullet points but play around with it, whatever you like. Yeah, so this could be in the area of professional and money and then we're going to make another one here just copy and paste it or you make another um, quick table there so you can do the same thing yeah, I'm just going to delete these real quick again I'm not a technical wizard all right and then what areas do I have in my personal life as well of course first of all most importantly there's family and friends right then there's health and my energy then there's what there's personal growth Right, we wanna add that as well. And then also, of course, there's the area of environment and space. Yeah, I usually like to, oops, I like to call it space. So this is your environment, this is your workspace, your home, your car, everything, all the space that you basically have to take care of. I'm a big believer that if things are set up the right way there, everything else flows more smoothly as well. Most people don't even think about too much about this area. All right, so that's the first step that we want to take, okay? Determine what are your life categories for everybody else. It's different. Yeah, organize it in a way that matches you. But usually for most people, it's somewhere between six to 10 categories. Yeah, so for me here, it's eight, as you can see. So that's the first, first step. The second step, very important, use colors. <laughs> now we want to use colors. One of the most amazing tools that I've learned years ago was that actually, because we, you know, our mind, right? We have uh, the, right, the right side, the left side of our brain, and this sparks more to the creative side, all right? So when you have your weekly planning and it's all boring and dry, you're missing that creative spark, and there should be both. You should have logic and emotion 
when you do your weekly planning yeah so the color comes in so for my online business right my habit coaching and everything else right that's of course orange corporate training that would be a lime green yeah i would have a more customized version i just do it quickly for you here yeah for youtube kind of a reddish not a full red and for money I like the color of blue, right? I have more of a sky blue, but I just quickly show you approximately how I would do it. Family and friends, which color would you pick? For me personally, it's red. But again, you pick whatever color matches you, whatever color you think matches it the most, all right? Energy for me is yellow. For me is yellow, like the sun, you know, the energy of the sun. Personal growth for me is a darker green and my space, Right, my personal spades, it's a different type of lighter purple. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a quick version here. Usually I customize the colors a little bit more, but this is pretty much what it looks like. What colors do really, and you know, through, throughout everything that you're gonna see here as well, you can use colors for every single day that you're planning out. And then when you can visually see how much time are you actually spending in each category, in each area during the week, all right? So use colors, that's the next thing we wanna do. And then number three, very simple. And again, watch the other video on weekly planning, but you wanna brainstorm your week, right? So what are you gonna do? What do, what do you have to do over the week? You, what do you have to do and what should you do? What do you want to do, right? What's a priority? So it could be coaching here, right? It could be coach, uh, corporate training, client, workshop, X, Y, Z. Right, YouTube video could be film, YouTube video. Don't get me wrong, this gets longer. Yeah, this gets longer. Most people then have multiple things here. Ah, that's the thing. You have to move it like this, yes. On the list and here as well, right, would be multiple things, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Again, I try to make this video as quick as possible. Money, you schedule whatever, right? Here could be a family trip, over the weekend, could be a party with friends, okay, and so on, you get the point, right? Here could be all of your exercise, right? For me, it's, for example, my Qigong, right? It's also gonna be my tennis for sure that I'm gonna schedule in and so on. Personal growth, you know, uh, my, my session with my personal coach, right? What book do you wanna read, for example? space which space do you have to clean up la 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 la. so anyway you brainstorm and you do it in the best way and then the beauty the beauty of it you know you can organize it afterwards you can move it around any way that you like again i like one note it's very quick it's simple to do it's, it's not a fancy complicated app but it's the beauty of it it's so simplistic true have you ever decided ah corporate training is more important than online yeah you just move it up here done or you can move it down and so on, all right? So that's the beauty of it as well. So we got the second step, uh, the third step done also. You brainstorm everything you wanna do and achieve during the week. The fourth step is now to schedule in all the actions that you've basically planned, all the results that you wanna create during the week. So for that down here, right, the next thing we gotta do, of course, we gotta create our weekly schedule. How many do we need? Eight. Okay, and we're gonna take it from here. So I like to do it, you know, whichever number you wanna start your day with, seven, eight, nine, 10, whatever, 12, 1 p.m. Ah. So you're gonna create basically all of these. Yeah, you're gonna create all of these, two, three, four, and so on. And you can take it as, you know what, what I, I personally, I usually plan it out from nine to six. Now, whatever happens after six is usually personally related. Sometimes I do a little bit of work at night, but it's nothing, nothing major. Yeah, some people like to have every single hour in here. Me personally, I have time blocks. I have the morning time, then I have nine for nine to 12. 12 is the lunch break, right? And then from one to six, I do something on after six too. So I don't have every single hour, but I just show you quickly here how, what it can look like if you do it with every single hour. Again, choose your favorite font. Yeah, here I like to choose one smaller and then we're gonna, these ones we can beautifully center, of course. Da, 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 da. So that's the maximum you can stretch it out. Then here we're gonna have Monday, Tuesday, 
Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, Jesus, I'm a genius. I know every day of the week. <laughs> Forgive my silly jokes, but you know me by now. Yeah, I like to joke around. So we'll have that, and then you can change the color of it as well if you want to. That's the other thing you can do as well. Again, one of my favorite colors is orange. And then what we gotta do is, and this is just, you gotta do it first time in the template. Yeah, this is where you just, this is one thing where I would be to one note. That it would be great where if there was a way to make sure that each part has the same length, but I've tried several ways, it doesn't work. So you gotta stretch it out until you feel it's enough space so you can basically schedule in your actions. Yeah, so you can schedule that in. Good, 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 good. So perfect. So it could be like this. And yeah, let's say all Monday long I have, a, I have a workshop, right, for my corporate training business. And I usually just put a workshop here. And then again, what you can also do, and some people like to do that, and for some people I recommend that. I used to do it as well. I don't do it anymore now. But basically, you can use the color of the area of life that you're working on during that time and you can color highlight it. It's a beautiful way to see patterns, to see how you're spending enough time on the right things or on the wrong things. All right. So this one we could, of course, then do in the ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. where are you? Lime green. Right. Maybe you want to write workshop here twice. It's all, it's all up to you. Right. And you can do the same thing for family and friends. Let's say you have your your weekend trip here. So this this is all for the trip. Again, you can center it here if you want to, right? So it's all up to, again, this, the beauty of it, it's so, so customizable. Yeah, and that's what, that's what I love it. You can create it the way that you want it and moving things around is very simple in here. That's what I love as well. Yeah, so you color code it if you want to. That is up to you. Again, the point here is if you want to. For some people it works beautifully. So think about what you want to do there. Okay, good. So scheduling we did yeah this is a good example and then number five the most important thing is the upkeep how are you gonna upkeep it yeah so we get the weekly template here now so what you want to do you make a copy of it so my suggestion is so here we already planned out a week correct let's say this is a week and the way i like to do it and sometimes it doesn't work right away i like to put w at the front and then 2022 dot whatever month it is right now it's October and then I like to put dot one because it's the first week of October some people like to put the first scheduling date in there okay some people do not but this is how I like to track it and so every month I have usually four or five depending on the month but four or five right weeks that I can instantly find if I have to find them I have to check something later what have I done in that week that is the beauty of it as well yeah, and why do you have the template? Well, the template is simple, right? And I have not done this here, but I'm gonna do it very quickly one time. But the template is basically, you wanna have this empty canvas just of your categories. And also down here, right? Nothing pre-scheduled. So just, as we know, an empty template really. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. Let's quickly do that, ole. Yes, okay, very good. So you got your template and then basically every single week, Right, when you have to start new, you create the template here. And then me, usually, I just like to, I'm lazy there. You know, it's called speediness, right? <laughs> I know you're a speedy person too, that's why you're here with me. And I just add a two for the next week. Boom, done, ready to go. And then here's what you do. This will add up over the weeks. And again, I like to keep it simple. So I have an extra section that I call W or week for weekly, right? Archives. So that's here. And so once I am done with this week, and usually I leave two or three weeks in here, but basically I'm gonna move it over to archives. Yeah, so it's all still in here. My new one, my template is in here, but in archives here, I can go back and check months, years back if I want to. And because of I did a great job, you know, putting the right numbers on it in the right way, again, year, month, and then whatever week of the month it is, it's the easiest to find ever. It's super quick to find, yeah? So that's another beauty of it too, to keep it up. So guys, there you have it. So that's how you can create 
your own weekly planner in OneNote. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Again, if you're new here, subscribe. Don't be shy, all right? And most importantly, I really look forward to seeing you for the next video.